This building is going to be kind of behind that pile of dirt. It's a new restaurant. The visitor center is two stories. The restaurant is a single story structure. Um, so a brief overview. The restaurant is around 6,400 square feet. We've got traditional indoor seating. There's outdoor seating. There's space for private dining that can also be used for the general public if there's not a private event. And there's also a separate bar. Uh, the kitchen is large enough to run the in-house operation on top of a catering operation simultaneously. So that was one of the, the park's kind of hard and fast requirements that we were able to, to hit. The visitor center, uh, and these are the plan drawings for the visitor center here. So you've got upstairs on the second floor, the whole center of the building is all dedicated to Ryan and his staff. There's space for at least 10 people to have their own desk up there. The ground floor at this end, which is right, almost exactly right there behind this bulldozer, at the far end of the pad, is a conference and event space that will comfortably hold up to around 75 people, depending on whether or not you have tables or just seating. What's happening in a community is incredibly important in the decision-making process. So we got we to gotta be on the ground. We got to listen to the people in that community that are affected by any kind of a change that we make in a state park. And, uh, and that plays a huge part in the calculus of how we go forward. But I will say, we are going forward because we're committed to investing in parks. Just had a conversation this week about maintenance and deferred maintenance and continued investment in the things that will keep our parks up. So we're going to keep doing that. And we're awfully excited. Uh, Horton Park is a crown jewel for Marshall County. It's also a crown jewel for the South Central region of Southern Middle Tennessee. Uh, it brings it's so much for tourism in our area. So many people come to this park. I think you may have heard Ryan Jenkins give the numbers. Over 900,000 people visit this park. Uh, and, and, and you got the Duck River that goes along with it. Uh, and, that, and so this, we can't say uh, enough how much this park means to, to this area. Uh, and it's been this way for, gosh, since its existence. And uh, so we're excited, we're proud. This is going to be another addition to it that's going to bring even more people into the park or give another amenity there to upgrade it. And so uh, I'm happy for the folks here, the hardworking staff. They, they do, they work so hard and do so much. And uh, it's, it's just, it's a good day for Marshall County. It's a good day for Henry Horton State Park. And I think it's a good day uh, for the people of this region and the people of Tennessee.